Welcome back to All The Mods 9. There were so many comments on the last video. I just want to say thank you all so much for leaving those. I always appreciate learning what you guys have done or any better ways to do certain things. Because like I've mentioned before, all of this here is completely brand new to me. So I always appreciate any input that you guys have. So thank you so much as always for that. There are a few things that I want to take care of today. One of them being maybe to increase the size of this as well as this so we can generate even more power. I would like to get up to a million power per tick. That could be pretty damn cool, I think. I also think that we maybe also want a power drain somewhere to output power once we max out so we don't blow these machines up. I'm sure there's a better way to do that if we wanted to, but for now, I think we're okay here. Uh, we're producing a ton of power for me. This is, this is so much power, but there are a couple things I wanna take care of, mainly improving this area right here. I wanna fix this system. Instead of having these go out slowly, I wanna have a row of machines for each of these ore potentially. So we're constantly getting output from each type that we're getting in here. So they're not getting stuck. We are gonna probably do some big old chain updates on this thing right here. This is definitely gonna need some changes. Uh, but first let's go to sleep because it's already dark and it's raining. What's up, Clug and how you doing, man? You doing good? I'm chilling, boy. Okay, so I did also receive... Oh, look, a rainbow. It's so pretty. Now it's gone. I did receive quite a few things that mentioned better ways to do cabling. So I might look into those. Also, better ways to do water. Uh, one of them is a water source block, which I did not know was a thing, but that's from a mod that I've never messed with. And we also got a name for our beautiful duck friend here. And that is... Howard. Howard the Duck. Come on now, bud. There you go. Now your name's Howard. Yeah. Okay, we need a lead for this guy, and we also need a fence. We're going to grab another brick fence, and we're going to grab a lead. Let's grab a lead, and we'll grab our mob yoinker. Yoink. And we're going to yoink this guy. Yoink. And we have to put him over here because he's going to be our guard duck. Okay, let's put him right here. You have been doing so much, buddy. Thank you for everything that you've done. And now you will watch over the mechanism area because you've been over here so long. Oh my God, that thing's in your eye, bud. Are you okay? Uh, he says he's fine. Okay, we'll just leave him there, Dan. Yes, I would like to fix this system here so we can get away from that insane bottleneck that is this chest back here. Because, oh my goodness. I mean, look at all this that's already been sorted, but we really want to break this down so we can actually get systems going. So how many do we actually have? Uh, we probably want to do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we'll leave these three on the same one. 11, 12. So we'll probably leave these three here in this system because we're going to have much less of those. But we need nine, 10, 11, 12. We're going to need 12 lines of freaking mechanism machines. Now, there might be a better way to do this. It could be better with create. Uh, that was also a comment I received to look into create. And we could also look into this for the crushing wheel and see if it does better with certain outputs. This one does give three for the ore, but is that only for... Oh, this does raw silver. It only gives one crushed raw silver. Well, shoot. Um, I don't know enough about create in order to do that properly. Well, I think the best thing that I could do is probably just improve this mechanism system here, which we haven't even maxed out in regards to the quests. Uh, so we could look at doing this part down here, the tier four or processing factory. Look at all of that. Oh man. Before we get into the tier four or factory, we really ought to build the infinite storage disk. We already did this, so we can break that. We ought to build the infinite storage disk because we're going to have so much. Look at this. Oh, man. We have 428,000. We need 190,000 more redstone. We need 677,000 more nether quartz essence. Actually, we don't need that much. What we need to do instead is build some more crafters. We're going to need to put those downstairs onto the other machines that we have down there that are making the nether quartz. So our system knows exactly how we are making our nether quartz instead of making it the old fashioned way, because it's going to be super inefficient if we do that. Uh, what we might want to do here, well, we're going to probably put the crafters in the front here, which is kind of meh. Maybe we'll put them behind them. 
Do we have room to do that? No, we have the those cables there. Dang it. Uh, can we? No. Well, this is definitely what we need to do, though. I need to place these. If I come back here, can I now place the crafter properly? No. Dang it. We really need to be able to... Maybe if I place a block in front of it, it'll work better. If I place it on the block face, that... Yeah, there we go. And this is funky. So we're going to need these four, and we need to place these facing them so we can put a pattern in in these that tells it how we're making the nether quartz so it does it the proper way so it can read the proper amount of redstone that we actually have or not redstone uh, nether quartz but we also are going to have to deal with us being low on nether quartz Ooh -wee. okay we need to get a pattern for each of these we need to tell it to be able to import granite and say that it's going to output nether quartz so let's go to the granite recipe here Oh, sorry, I should probably go into the pattern grid. And also I need some patterns. I don't have any. I'm so, I'm confusing myself. Okay, here we go. 22 patterns, that's fine. Pattern grid, toss these in, granite. Oh, actually we should just look up nether quartz. Go to the nether quartz here. Oh, pulverizer. And then we need to tell this. Wait a minute, this isn't correct either. It's the pulverizer, yeah? I must, oh. It's because it turns into something else, right? It turns into another, yeah, it turns into quartz dust. Yep, like this. And it's the granite. So we need to tell this to make that. And we're gonna need multiple patterns of this. So we need four patterns of that. Come down here and throw it into each of these crafters. So one pattern there, 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 and there. Can we tell it to import it into the front? We cannot. Oh, we can tell it to input into the bottom though. Damn it. Okay, so we're gonna have to do this. We'll have to take all these, at least the patterns will stay inside. We're gonna have to go under these and change the power. So we're gonna have to cut off the power here. Oh, nope, that's gonna cut all of them. So let's not do that. We need to do that. Then we're gonna have to break this as well because we're gonna need, ooh, and that, and this. Power cables, baby. Where are they? There they are. So we have to do that to go around there because we're gonna need to put some cables down to here, should put it, putting it there should be fine because that'll connect to the crafters. And now we need to grab this. So now we need to do that. Oh, you, okay, there we go. Those worked, just this one's being a punk. Go, okay, all right, sweet. So all these are connected now. Now we just need to tell these to take input out of the bottom on each of these. Now we can input the granite here automatically as we need the nether quartz. Ah, you're, and you're down here cooking this stuff. Is this the only way to cook this, right? Or we use an induction smelter. Oh, you can also make quartz enriched iron like that. Neat. Or we use the crystallizer with water and power. Maybe the crystallizer would be faster, but we probably just want to upgrade this in fridging factory. So let's look up mechanism and we will grab the ultimate tier upgrade. And we should just be able to slap this on, right? Or do we have to do this? Ah. How do, how, how do I mess up? Oh, oh, it's in my inventory. Can I just right click it or do I need to? What? How do you use this thing? Ultimate tier installer. Do I have to use the other tiers first? So do I need to make one of these first? Yes, and then do that. Okay. All right. Well, that works at least. Okay, so that did work. So now it's going to be working much faster because it can do nine rows instead. So that's good. Very, very good. Very good indeed. Okay, so that's gonna work faster. We'll get more nether quartz that way. But that also means we're gonna need to add a crafter to this so our system can understand mega jewels. Oh, did I change? There we go, FE. Yeah, I like FE better. So we're gonna need to make another crafter because we need to tell this to know how to make what we want as well. So the system can see the entire process because if it can't see the entire process, then it's not gonna work. Uh, then the system won't understand how we are actually making our nether quartz. So now we're gonna need a flux point and we will just place it right here. I'm gonna put this onto the output network and we'll set this to 100K. And now we need cables. Do we have any of the other better ones? We have one of these ones. We need to make some more universal cables, I guess. So we'll just make these into the ultimate cables. I know we can also place, actually, let me try. Somebody mentioned that you can do something pretty neat. So let's grab the default pow basic power cables here and let's grab some of these. Let's see if we can do this like that. And then if we can do this, oh, it did work, sick. And then we can do, 
both of these as well and then we should be able to do that very nice and then that oh it did work thank you so much and you guys are giving me such good freaking advice this is sick okay all of these are powered now the crafters are down these know what to do unfortunately power cables are poking out but it is what it is we did what we had to do to get the job done but now our system knows how we can make that nether quartz so let's go up in here again and type infinite and see if we fixed our nether quartz problem uh does it not know how to craft it still oh we didn't put that pattern in yet so i have to come up in here and i have to tell this this pattern then we have to drop this in the crafter down there so then it will actually know <laughs> how to make that system okay stretched uh now if we do this okay now we can see exactly how much quartz we need in order to get to that point and also we're going to need more dirt essence and fire essence to get this job done okay and also gold so now we see that there is a problem elsewhere besides just the nether quartz but now at least our system knows how to make that nether quartz so that's really freaking cool also we have a bunch of string we have so much stuff man holy crap we have so many stuff and things let's just chuck some stuff away again so i can have more space and get a reset going here you know check that pattern away i don't need that pattern this is essentially a reset, right? Yeah, we're, we're totally just, yeah, we're completely reset. Yep, 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 we are. Let me check my backpack. Anything useful in here that I need? No, we'll just, well, actually, I'll take these two out and then we'll just do that. Goodbye. Okay, we're all clean. We're all good to go. And another day has ended, so let's go to sleep. Also, I accidentally started recording again with the output being 1080p. Unfortunately, um, I will upscale it just so the uh, the bitrate looks better on YouTube, but typically I do record in 1440. I will fix that for the next video. The last video also, I did the same thing. I just forgot to change my uh, canvas size for output, but it is what it is. Okay, so what I've seen so far is that we're going to have to probably just build this system out anyway without getting our storage ready, which is totally fine, because we already do have external storage hooked up for all of those types of ingots so we should be okay storage wise at least for a little bit uh, we should we should totally be fine you know it, it is what it is oh and actually what we can do is since we learned that trick let me take these out and these out i don't know how much we're gonna need i don't know if it only uses one but that change all of them oh it only changes a few at a time hey it does work right so we can go around and we can just right click the cables in our world with this and it'll upgrade them, which is really freaking nice. So we can do that. Those are all getting upgraded. Upgrades, people, upgrades. I'm so excited for this. Thank you so much for that comment. <laughs> That's so awesome, man. We can do this. We can also come down here and do that. And I also believe that we might have to come over here. Yep, we have to do that. How's it looking over here? Are we all good and upgraded? Nope, not yet. Let's do that. We're still missing some over here. So let's use our silk touch. Oh, actually we can just reach that. There we go. Is that all of them? Nope. Let's just break this and we will go down and we will got to break this again. And hopefully we can reach that oh, a little bit more. This is so nice. So much nicer than having to break them at, and, and everything. Okay. That should be every single cable upgraded to the elite. So that's, that's much better. Okay. Let's grab this and put this stuff back. So this back here and these two here we'll leave that open because we already had it open we can do that that yep now we're good all righty these are all upgraded too very nice so power draw for the cables is fixed i think all the way i think all of these were replaced looks like it okay sweet awesome that's so freaking cool all right let's get into the tier four or factory so we're going to need to do all of this. So I'm going to screenshot this for myself so I can have this off to the side while I'm looking at the system. And what I might do is rebuild it completely and do it the proper way from the left to the right. Just disconnect it from the brine factory completely. Let's get down to business to make a tier four processing factory. This is going to be a lot. So since I've already done this once, I'm going to go ahead and build it and then I will talk about it after because we need to get well actually we need to get sulfuric acid let's look up sulfuric acid not sulfuric get yeah, sulfuric acid sulfuric acid that is the wrong type we need the mechanism sulfuric acid we get that with sulfur trioxide and water vapor which we are already producing but we need to do it over here okay so we might build this over here we'll probably leave this system for the other stuff and we will move we're gonna move this whole thing Oh, whoops. 
So we'll place that again. We're going to need some space for this because we need to make uh, sulfur trioxide. Let's go down here and we can look at, damn it. We gotta go to bed again. Okay, let's go. Da -da -do -do. Da -da -do -do -do. We need to get sulfur trioxide, which we are doing over here, right in here. We're actually outputting sulfur trioxide already with our sulfur dust here. Maybe, is sulfur trioxide a gas? I think it's a gas, right? Yeah, okay, so we're gonna need to get this gunpowder. We're gonna need to make the gunpowder system and use hydrogen chloride to in an injecting factory. Damn, we're gonna need more hydrogen chloride. Better yet, what we could do as well is output some of this sulfur dust. Let's get an importer and we'll take the excess. We'll make an elite importer and we'll chuck it onto here because it shouldn't be too fast that it takes everything, but it should give us some. So now we need to tell this to output out of the back and these should still get filled up. Oh, that one's not getting filled up. That one is, okay, so this is a little too fast. So we'll use a regular importer then and we'll just put some speeds on it. So we'll do that. And these should hopefully keep going, I hope. I hope this, yeah, because there's no way this importer is working that fast. Sulfur, yeah, see, we only have seven sulfur dust. 10, 11, 12, 13, sulfur dust. Oh, okay, so we, have, we do have more. So we have 248, 49, 50. That means we probably just need to upgrade this system, which we can use the, not the upgrade, uh, let's just pin these, because I'm going to be using these probably. So we can just do one of these here, and we can just do that. So now this thing will work even faster. So hopefully this stays full. Looks like it'll stay full now, even with this importer yoinking sulfur. I don't know why this thing's working so fast actually, but wow, okay, we also have a lot of raw sulfur. Oh, it just turns into regular sulfur dust once we cook it. Neat, this might be something to look into as well then. Raw sulfur, can it be put through our system? No, it can just put to be through be put through a regular furnace, which is totally fine, which means we probably want to come over here and chuck it into here. Let's do that and go over here. Oh, actually, are all these linked up? Yep, these are all linked up. So that's in our system now. Uh, what we need to do is, well, if we take the disc out, it's not going to do anything. Um, I think we have to go through that disc sorting system thing to allow it to go into here. The main thing I wanted to do is put the sulfur dust in here. Oh, it's only one type. Okay, well, shoot. Then I need to take all that out and then lock this again. We need to use a drawer and we will just do one drawer and we'll just casually drop this here. We will lock it and we'll link it and we'll do that. And then the sulfur. We can just take all of this out and drop it in. We won't worry too much about the ore that's right there. So yeah, we'll leave that there. We're slowly building up sulfur dust. And what we can do now that we have that there um, is first add some upgrades to it because <laughs> it's going to need them. I think it can hold four. I think so. Oh, we have seven. <laughs> okay. Okay. So now this can hold 679 million sulfur. What the hell? All right. Now let's go over to our importer that was over here and tell it to do sulfur. So we'll drag the raw sulfur here and then it'll just cook it all. Now we're gonna have a ton of sulfur being stored in here, which is really freaking awesome. So that means that we can, we don't have to build this injecting factory anymore over here, which also we could probably just remove this injecting factory and in turn remove all of this here if we just set it up elsewhere. Uh, but for now, this is fine. This is totally okay. We're actually getting even more full. Let's check a speed or two on here. Maybe we'll just check one, see how that does. Uh, we'll check a speed on there so it pulls some out. Oh, thanks for the egg, bud. Duck egg, go, go. Nope, you ain't got no sons or daughters. Maybe we can check another speed onto this and we'll just continuously pull in sulfur. I mean, we're gonna get a ton anyway, cause we had 22,000 ore. Now let's build out, let's build out this system. We're going to need a sink. You always need a sink because we're gonna need water. Oh, we're actually gonna need water vapor as well. So we need to start right here. We could also use that sink, but I'm not going to. And we need to get 
a we need to get sulfuric acid which means we're going to need a chemical infuser oh let's just make a ton of these we'll probably need them at some point uh we're gonna need a chemical infuser we're gonna need one of these i believe we're gonna need two because we need to get sulfuric acid so let's look up sulfuric acid again let's pin this so we're gonna need sulfur trioxide and water vapor and then we're gonna need oxygen and sulfur dioxide and then for sulfur dioxide we're gonna need sulfur dust which means we're gonna need a chemical oxidizer and a decondensator uh for the water vapor so chemical oxidizer i already have an extra one oh that's right because i had to build some earlier we're gonna need a dissolution chamber and i'll grab another infuser because i do believe we're gonna need them so we'll just go ahead and put those up there and we're gonna need a decon or a condensentrator that's what it's called it is decondensentrating but we're gonna need a condensentrator for that the rotary decondensentrator now we need the uh we're gonna need the condensentrator here and we're gonna also need um this here we're just gonna put these right next to each other because they're both gonna need to take in water we're gonna need a bunch of pipes or a mechanical pipe we're gonna need these pressurized tubes logistical maybe we'll need logistical transporters yep that should be all the pipes that we need uh we're gonna need the mechanical pipe here don't you be a punk about this you're supposed to take an input bud oh you can only take in gas oh we don't need a chemical infuser we need an electrolytic separator whoops so separator electrolytic variety we'll tell this to craft all those dusts for us and then we should be good to go to make this all right electrolytic separator down so this is gonna need that and i'm probably gonna have to do some freaking power here so let's do a small tunnel here so i can have some space to work with here because we're gonna need to build some power for these guys and i'm definitely gonna use a point for this so we can keep our network good to go also i can probably break off this here and just put a point on it i'm probably gonna do that and then we'll just break this down that way so less cables and i'm gonna put a point right here i'll just do oh, and i want to put it somewhere manageable so we'll do right up here and then i will fix these cables here whoops and we'll do that there we go now those can receive power uh we need to raise this limit to 500k all right yeah it's using quite a bit so there we go less cables to manage over there then we'll also just put another point right over here as well We'll do a point probably right here let me grab a flux point and we'll put it here and we will put it on the output network so we're outputting power with this one we'll put 500k on this one as well and now let's get to business so we do this and this to power these uh this one we're gonna turn it on to decondensate so it's gonna turn it into water vapor you're gonna need our configurator here as well let's go ahead and get this thing going so this is gonna turn it into water vapor all right now that we have water vapor we're also gonna need to have oxygen so this is gonna we're gonna tell this to uh dump excess hydrogen and we're gonna work on the oxygen here we don't need hydrogen we're gonna need also sulfur dioxide which we need a chemical oxidizer for so we already have one yep chemical oxidizer right here all right and that's probably gonna go right back here on top of this one uh we can do that hopefully that won't be an issue and we also need to wrap our network around over there yeah from this so we need more cable i don't feel like doing it another way we're just gonna wrap this around over here oh well so let's go ahead now we'll just wrap it around this all right it's connected now we have network control over here uh, because we're gonna need to actually what i want to do is probably raise this up above to here so we can have space with the machines probably one more as well we'll just go all the way up like that because we're probably gonna have layers of machines over here on top of that one uh we might move the decondensator from the back here move it forward just so it's a bit easier to manage and we'll probably put it here so is it, it's in here decondensator so we're gonna place this here this needs to take in sulfur this is gonna be a pain in the butt exporter we'll do an exporter right here which means we're gonna need some cabling up and we can probably just do this one this way like that and we'll mess with this as we need to this needs to output sulfur dust okay this is taking in sulfur dust because we set it up we're setting it up from left to right all right this has oxygen this has water vapor okay so now the next step is to get sulfuric acid and to get sulfuric acid we need a chemical 
infuser let's see we need to get to sulfuric acid which needs water vapor and sulfur trioxide which needs oxygen and sulfur dioxide so these two need to come into here so we're going to need our pressurized tubes and we want to tell this to yep do output two so output two is going into here and then this is going to output into this there we go sulfur dioxide and i just need to tell this to take input hopefully is that is that the correct combo yep oxygen and sulfur dioxide oh i need to go into gases input two so input two now it's making sulfur trioxide there we go now we need to combine that with the water vapor isn't that right yep sulfur trioxide water vapor in another chemical infuser we're gonna need power here i could actually also move this closer so i think i'm gonna do that i'm gonna unfortunately lose some stuff that's fine. We can move this closer together. Uh, so we'll do that. And now we need to go under here and give it some power. So we'll do this. And then we're also gonna need to do this and this, and also most likely this as well. We can do that and that and that. And I'll probably want to turn this machine uh, this way and have it output where this is gonna output. Mm, yeah, so we need to take input one, we're gonna take input two, and then we're gonna output out of the left. And then we need a chemical infuser again. And we can place this one here. Oh, you silly boy. What are you doing? Oh, you're you're still cooking, that's why. Okay, so we need to change these two then. So this one needs to go here. Input two, input one, output. I'm sorry, input one, input two, output. Okay, and then we need to place the pressurized here. Now it's going all right then we place this and this we need to get rid of the oxygen over trioxide and then we need to tell this to auto eject and output input and we're gonna need to tell this to take input two to take input one and output auto eject on oh whoops input two input one output there we go now we're getting sulfuric acid okay so this is pretty freaking compact but it's going to do what we need it to do now we have sulfuric acid coming through and it looks like we're gonna just do this here and we will block this off so here's our compact sulfuric acid machine yeah oh my goodness we're gonna have to pop upgrades on every single one of those um do we have upgrades we're gonna need gas upgrade speeds and we're gonna need more freaking energy upgrades, man. Energy, let's make those. Cause we're gonna need some more. Even just for the machines here, we don't have that many. Cause we can probably run these things to the max. Let's go ahead and make 64 of those and we'll make 64 of these. So we'll have plenty when we come back. And I should just be able to, can I just crouch right click? Yes, I did not know you could do that. Very nice. Look at that. All these things are working super duper fast now. Good, they're gonna use so much. They're gonna use so much power for this. Do you not work fast enough? Not enough room and output. Oh no, you are. Oh, this just isn't. Uh, you can't even, you can't even keep up, boy. Chemical oxidizer, is there a better way? No, chemical oxidizer is just a bottleneck in general. Unless there's a better way to get sulfur dioxide. Is there a better way to get sulfur dioxide? Mm, nope, we're just gonna need another one. Another chemical oxidizer. All right, that's fine. We'll just make another one. Come here. That means we're gonna need another importer or exporter, rather. I already have some on me. Whoops. And we'll do a stack upgrade. Man, we need to do even more, set up even more auto crafting. Good Lord. Okay, we have two of these. So now we can set this up. Auto eject, it's gonna take, oh, whoops. Input, yep, input and it's going to output yep it's already set up now we can break this then we'll set the exporter there drag this onto here shove a stack upgrade in there and shove a stack upgrade in here and now we can do this and this all right now we need another pressurized pipe or pressurized tube like so what the hell is this saying oh not enough energy whoops i didn't think about that did i i didn't think about that well good thing we have points so point out there we go this has max sulfuric acid. Now we need our dissolution chamber. So right here, we need more upgrades, people. Like so. And then, so the sulfuric acid goes into the dissolution chamber. 
This doesn't have any energy, so we need to give it an, an ultimate energy pipe. Isn't that right? Yep. So this doesn't know what to do. But we can also give it a gas upgrade as well. So let's do that. Um, what else do we need to put in the dissolution chamber? Ah, this is where the ore is going to go. Dissolution. Yep, this is the only level. So, ooh, boy. Ooh, this is going to be painful AF because the ores go into here if we set this up. So we're going to need... Okay, I see how we're going to have to do this. And it's not going to be fun. We're going to need to stack this stuff, which means we need to go around with this cable. Uh, This way. I wasn't thinking about this, but that's okay. Always room for improvement. So we're going to need to go that way um, for those cables. And power wise, we're going to need, since we built it this way and we didn't spread anything out, we might want to relay this down to have space for power. But what we also could do is just skip a layer and then do a point. We could do a point here and then cables around because uh, this is pretty compact. We're just going to have to maybe have spaces between all of them. So we're going to need to move this one up and as well as that, which means we need to have a cable there and then break this and we'll put a power cable here. It'll let me like that. So then we can power these with just one flux point and we'll just put it. Actually, we'll just put the flux point there. So we'll do that and then we're going to need to run power like this. Okay. And then we're going to come this way and then we can do importers here and then we can break all of the power that's under here. So everything is getting power up top. Uh, do shapeless under here. Break all of this. Break that. We are we are having to do a thonk about this. But this is fine, you know. It's it's something this is an in, this is going to be an interesting thing that we're going to we're going to we're going to solve this problem is what we're going to do here. <laughs> we're going to solve this problem together. Let's break all of these. All right. So now that we have this, this is one row that will be doing one type of ore. This is going to be doing one type of ore. And to get that to happen, we actually need to put an importer on our system here. Uh, four of these and we'll do this one. We're going to need to import all of these ore and tell this to stop exporting these types. And instead of this, we are going to just throw an importer on here and it's going to suck up all of the ore again. So this is going to suck up all that ore. I believe we have enough. I think we have all of these sorted. So we should be good with all of these here. I think that's all of the ore that's in there. So we're going to put all those ore back in and we're going to have to make a row for each type of ore that we want to do here. So now we need to make, since we already made the chemical dissolution chamber, now we're going to need to make a washer, which we haven't made before, a chemical washer. Let's make a few of these tanks. We'll make a chemical washer. Uh, we don't need to put pipes between these, but we will just for transport sake. So we will go and... Go ahead and do this and we'll tell this to output turn on auto for that and then we're gonna need another sink kitchen variety of sinks let's just make the sink here we'll do that then we're gonna need to put a this onto here like so and then do this now we need to put our energy cable over here so now each of these points we'll just set them to 100k oh this is just working and filling up that pipe that's good we're gonna have to break this pipe here all right, sweet, it kept it all. So what I'm doing here is I'm gonna build out a layer of the ore farm. So if you see here, this is what the ore farm looks like. We're at this point right here at the washer here, but the chemical, the dissolution chamber here is where the ore goes into, right? But what we're wanting to do is make a row for each type of ore. So there's no bottlenecks and we're not waiting on each type of ore. It's gonna be very, very power hungry um, if we do this. But ultimately, that means that we're going to get all of our ore done quicker and we won't have to worry about any kind of hiccups or worrying about this slow process that we have right now. Yeah, let's just continue with this and let's keep this going as best as we can. And let's do the crystallizer. It recommends again that we do a logistical cable. So let's do this and then we need the crystallizer. So let's get the chemical crystallizer going and we'll do that. Then we will tell this to output. We will run the power cable over again. And now we need the injection chamber, which is gonna need hydrogen chloride. Um, so we're gonna need to make another one of these systems like this, unfortunately. 
because we are not storing hydrogen chloride but we need an electrolytic separator uh yep we're gonna need an electrolytic separator over here and we will do this as compact as we can so probably out on the front um because i would like to hopefully get this to run as fast as we can so we can have one electrolytic separator for each two rows hopefully so electrolytic separator and we're gonna need more cables actually that means we should probably do it back here then if we're gonna need more cables we will place this uh probably um how far do i want to go because i'm gonna need an electrolytic separator also to provide oxygen to the purification chamber purifying factory and we're also going to need a chemical infuser for hydrogen so we're going to need a sink into an electrolytic separator and that's going to need to pump into two machines so what we can do then is place it here maybe and then we can place hmm, we're going to need two electrolytic separators to be pumped into one chemical infuser we will do this instead so let's grab this electrolytic separator and we will put one here and then we will also put one oh we're gonna need another one so let's grab this whoops grab this grab this then we will place this one here and we're gonna need the cable because we need to output brine into this one so exporter um probably want an ultra exporter actually whoops ultra exporter all right fluids brine is this taking brine now all right and we will dump excess on that and we will okay this is going to output into what is it over here chemical infuser yep chemical infuser the chemical infuser here and we will place this right here uh what does that need it needs hydrogen and chlorine so we need to tell this right here to do output one actually this is going to be a mistake because this this is the one that we should do for the water yeah this is the one that we should do for the water so take that out and do that cut that off you we're gonna to need to drop that out come into here take this drop that out again this is gonna be a pain in the butt all right mechanical pipe into this one and we'll come off of that into that we're gonna need to take this brine out of here damn it oh we're just gonna have to waste that brine then because we need to take the water out of here and then we need to take the brine out of this do that and then we need to take this out and then we need to take this out okay empty empty no power that's fine you don't need power right now okay so now you can do that then we will tell this thing right here to take the exporter so you are going to output brine instead and no you don't want oxygen uh, you want hydrogen i think right is it hydrogen yep so i'll put two for hydrogen so gases i'll put two all right then that means we need to take this oh you goober it needs to be hydrogen then chlorine so we need to tell this input to input one input one so take this oh whoops gotta drop that take this out drop that now we need to be something excess on both of these and then gases i'll put two should be coming through into input one because we need chlorine and hydrogen but for some reason you mr chemical infuser yeah hydrogen and chlorine oh whoops i put these in the wrong spots i played oopsie daisies so i need to place the chemical infuser we're gonna move we're gonna backtrack a little bit here i need to remove this and we're gonna move this a little bit uh because we need a chemical infuser to be right here so but we also need which electrolytic separator are you the water one okay we also need this one to be here what the hell you scared the crap out of me dude and we also need this one to be right here which means we need the cables to go out one more dang it this is a process huh that's okay though i think it's worth setting this up the best way so it's easy for you guys to follow along as well as for me to look at it later and do the same thing so we're gonna need to do that and put the brine in again this is gonna take brine this needs to dump excess you are taking chlorine on the side 
You, my friend. Ah, you need to do... I'm silly, I think. Yeah, I'll put one. There we go. Yep, I was being silly. And then this is going to do output two oh, on gases. Output two out of the front. And this needs a pressurized tube coming out of the front. This is also going to need an output thingy. Now we need to do energy onto these. And we will just come over the top like that. And we'll break this and this one. All right. So now we can get down into the business. So now we need a washer or no we already have the washer so the washer here crystallizer now we need the injection chamber which means we need a purification chamber which means we need an enrichment factory chemical injection chamber can we upgrade this okay we'll just do the upgrades later on each of these so now we need this here we're gonna need some more gas upgrades and some more speed upgrades speed give me those we'll do that do that and we will also do that and that and that and that and that oh those that one's already done do we have gas for this one nope all right you're upgraded as much as you can be very nice these guys need energies and speeds as well these guys are going to be working hella fast these guys are going to use so much power i'm going to need to up the, up this on the network to 250,000, i guess yeah we're going to need to slow these ones down because these guys are going to absolutely destroy our power. So we'll slow these down. This thing's still working. That's totally fine. But these these mugs over here, they're going to eat up our power. So let's take a couple away from these. 64 times speed is perfectly fine. <laughs> That's perfectly fine. Is this cable even full? No. Why did you stop then? You're dumping excess. You can't take in any more chlorine. You are, oh, you're dumping excess on both and you don't have water, duh. So maybe we'll do another sink. We'll separate the sinks out and we'll use them because we'll use them for the same row. Oh, we're out of terracotta. Interesting. We haven't run out of terracotta in a long time. Well, time to go to the system and tell it how to make terracotta. Yeah, do we have, do we have clay? We do have clay and we need clay block. We need a block of clay, clay. Tell us how to make blocks of clay. Ah, uh, yep, block of clay. Okay, toss that in there. And now we need terracotta. We need to know how to make terracotta, so let's do that. Yeah, so you go in there. And then we will go down below and tell our system to store terracotta. You, make terracotta. Yeah, there we go. Wow, I never thought I would ever autocraft terracotta. Well, later on I'm gonna have to anyway, uh, I believe for the Patrick B or the ATM star. So it's good to get it out of the way. All right, let's do this. Now we need a mechanical pipe. <coughs> Ooh, that was a big old sneeze. Excuse me. Okay, so this is going to work now. Now we need, we have the injection chamber. Now we need the purification chamber. And also we need gas upgrades. I don't think we have those set up to autocraft either, which sucks. All right, let's do that and then do this. There we go. So this whole system here is looking expansive as hell. How's this coming along? Did you already input everything? Oh, you're working on it. That's so many ore. Good thing we set this up to hold quite a bit. You actually might run out of space. Um, do we have any upgrades? We do, we have diamond ones. Well, go. How much can you hold now? 7.1 million that's totally fine you'll totally be okay with that much okay let's go tell the system how to make gas upgrades we definitely need to know how to make these so go in there and then we will craft 64 of these all right let's do upgrade we will craft some more of these and we will craft some more of these grab those yeah we're completely out of energy upgrades Damn. we need more give me those all right we have gas upgrades now and speeds. We just need more energy upgrades. Gas, 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 gas. Oh, did you need gas? I thought it already maxed you out. Okay, anyway. So we have the chemical injection and the purification. Now we need the crusher. So crusher and we can make lava buckets. I did not know we could make lava like that. So that whole endeavor with making infinite lava was kind of weird. All right, so we have a crusher. Now we need an enrichment chamber. All right, now we need a smelter energized smelter there we go um wow what a chain huh look at that that's nuts that's crazy son but hey i know exactly how this works now 
so that's good right that's totally cool we should be able to only have this line here for this for this machine uh, for this system because we can output so much of this chemical if we upgrade it even more unfortunately though we're gonna have to mess with this one quite a bit uh, but but we should be able to get away with just having one electrolytic separator the problem is that it needs well actually no this this system should also be okay but we need a way to get yeah this is the bottleneck it's going to be the chemical oxidizer is going to be the bottleneck here which is unfortunate but that's okay it's going to fill up with sulfur dioxide at least uh so we'll we'll see but these machines we're definitely going to need to put more into um so now what we can do is grab our exporter and we'll come over here and we're gonna make a barrel we're gonna make a big boy barrel we should have sophisticated barrels right yeah okay let's upgrade this thing all the way to probably diamond i think netherite needs us to go into the workbench oh no we can just do this okay so we'll do netherite barrel we're gonna place this probably here uh since it'll be in line with the cables and we can just move the cable over like so and then we'll just put transport pipes here logistical transporters and we'll just have it output into there and then we will put an importer onto this to an elite importer there we go now everything that comes to the system will go into there let's check our upgrades we should have quite a few yeah there we go all right so we're gonna need to do this so energy speed energy speed energy speed gas energy speed energy speed we should be good on everything right all right, this whole system is good to go. Now we need to make a bunch of these. Oh, what did we run out of? Planks? You telling me we're running out of planks? Why are we out of planks? Go, make planks. I don't know how many machines we have, so we're just gonna grab these and we'll do this, 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 this. We'll upgrade everything that we can. I don't think we can upgrade anything else here, unfortunately. Next stage is this one. I think we used five, but I made six. Okay, and now we'll make the next step. Five, boop, 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 and then six. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, are you good with gas? You're good with gas. All right, now we're gonna tell this. Let's check our raw. What, what do you have the most of? Oof. Of course, raw copper, Jesus. Uranium. We'll probably focus on getting our uranium done. It uh, looks like we have... Where's our raw gold? Am I just missing it? Um, oh, just has it not touched it yet? We also don't have that much raw gold either. We have a ton of iron though. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do here is I'm going to output the raw uranium first. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And we will just... Uh, we'll come down like that. I'm going to do raw uranium... So we'll just drag this onto here and hopefully this will work there we go and we'll just do a well now hold on a minute am i a goober now because now it only does it only cook one at a time you can also cook the blocks oh, okay so it does take three at a time but we could cook the blocks instead mm. if we can cook the blocks that makes this a lot easier because then i can just say hey import one block and since we have this converted into blocks here it'll be much easier and then we can do much less lines we'll just have a line do every single type of block that we have big brain moment okay uh we're gonna take the slurry out this is what is slurry uh i don't know what type of chemical that is so we're just gonna i'm gonna assume that it's oh i was wrong it's not that or maybe it was oh no it's a gas okay so we need this Right, then the slurry goes out and then it comes becomes clean. Uranium slurry, and then we break this and then do that. Okay, all right. I I figured it out. Okay. So what what I what the conclusion that I came to was the dissolution chamber here can take blocks. Can this also take blocks of ore? It can! I am so silly. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay, all right. Hey, 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 hold up. Hey, okay, hey. Don't don't hey, come on, chill out. All right. Hey, hey, whoa, hey. <laughs> oh no. I feel like such a fool. I haven't known this whole time that those could take blocks. 
then I don't, I literally don't have to do any sorting, but I do need to add to this system if I were to want to do this. So what I could do now is just yoink all these machines and put them on top of here because I know how it works now. Uh, I have a better understanding of how this works anyway. And then I don't have to ever worry about laser nodes ever again. Okay. All right. So exporter, 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 exporter. We're going to need a better exporter, which, uh, which... Do I have any? No. Okay. So I just learned that I can use blocks instead of what I was doing. So yeah, this is going to make things so much easier. So what we need to do then is search up raw block. Then we can just drag all of these into here. Um, then we don't even need to worry about what we were freaking going to go on on, go off on. So we'll do that one and we'll do that one. Uh, we're going to prioritize those three. Then we'll get into some others here. So we can do raw. Um, we'll do raw osmium. We need osmium quite a bit in this whole process. Gosh, damn it. So raw osmium, then we'll do platinum. Then we will do silver. And then we'll do lead, aluminum, and zinc. Um, I don't have any iridium, but it's 10 of those. Holy crap, man. Well, I'm glad I figured that out. So now I don't have to be as ridiculous with how this system's going to work. Oh, and this can just sit in here. The slurry. You can just sit in the pipes. Is this not outputting still? Yeah. Did I mess up here? Crystallizer injection chamber, right? Ah, you were not on auto eject. That's my problem here. Okay. So this can go through this whole system now. Bowsers. Okay. Auto eject on, auto eject on, auto eject on, and auto eject on. What is this? Not enough energy. Oh, I need to put energy pipes here. Duh. So these energized go. Well, this is going to be a lot better now because I can just do another layer of the same layout. Um, and wowzers, you're going to be a problem. Hydrogen, oxygen. So I can tell the oxygen to dump excess. So I'll tell it to idle with this when this is full but we're still going to need oxygen all the time anyway. Okay. Yeah, I can. T I think I can tell it to idle when the hydrogen isn't being used because that means that this injection factory isn't being used. Hey, get out of my face. What you got? Efficiency five, mending fortune four. Okay, well, give me that. I actually want that. You actually have something that's useful to me. Now I need a diamond pickaxe. I'm just going to, hopefully you'll take this one, right? We take this. Yeah, give me that. Then I can put that stuff on my pickaxe because my pickaxe is kind of booty cheeks right now. All right, sweet. Well, we have the stone breaker now. Let's uh, go to our deposit settings and tell it to not put it away. Okay, wow. What an improvement, though. Being able to just do this now is going to be so nice. Oh, I need to tell you to output out of the back. And this will take it to our system. Okay, and then you. This is very good. Very, very good indeed. I'm happy with this. Wow, and these pipes are full. A million. Mm, so that's 1,024 buckets. How much power is this network using? Quite a bit. And how's our energy generation down here? We still have 63 billion FE. And this thing's still producing 514,000 FE per tick. So we're still net positive with this. But we're going to need to move this system here. Oh, man. I think it'll be worth it, though, to move this whole system here so let's get to it or maybe we leave these maybe we leave these for these specific two and we'll break these down so let's break those let's break these say goodbye system you'll be missed maybe and we'll take this and this take this away as well all right we'll leave this system set up over here uh because we are using that are you done over here? Nope, you're not done. Okay, let's just chuck another importer on there then since that one's not done yet. We'll go ahead and just make some more importers and we'll make some ultras and we'll make or we'll make an ultra and we'll chuck this on here and we'll just get that outputting as well. Wow, look at all that stuff that's in here. What? Why is all of this in here? I don't understand how all of that got put in here. Um, well, anyway, that is confusing. Why is all of that in here? That was weird. Okay, so these will this will be done soon. I need to get some space, sort this, and we can toss these in here, put that away, and put these in the system. I mean, you're gonna need more upgrades, people. Let's do 23, so we can have the same amount of energies as our speeds. All right, so we have layer one done. Now we can do another layer on top of this one. So are you 
sulfur is the sulfuric acid keeping up here probably with the sulfur dioxide right and we'll we'll attach this pipe all the way going up um so each machine is filling up this cable here uh so we'll never be out of uh chemical oxide chem the chemical oxide items or stuff are we pulling enough of this we're probably not but how are you doing over here we're out of gunpowder what huh why aren't you crafting gunpowder aren't we storing gunpowder did i do a goof i must have yeah i must have i must have not set gunpowder to craft well that's very unfortunate okay well we have it crafting now so that's fine all right now we want to make at least another layer of this hey buddy can you guys move please i don't want to have to do this but i will do it if you guys don't skedaddle just go away thank you okay we need to set up another layer of this i think at least one more layer is good um this is going to cook all of the uranium it's going to be really nice though oh man this is going to be super nice to get done holy cow man Maybe what we do instead of this exporter here is we do an exporter onto a barrel. Oops. We might want to do that instead. So actually what we'll come down and do here is take this barrel. I'm going to break these. We'll chuck this into here. And we'll take this stuff out too. Put that into there. We'll wait for this to be done. Now we'll take this and this. Okay, let's go. Grab this barrel out. Grab these. Stack upgrades. Excuse me. Um, take the speeds as well. Now we will upgrade this barrel to a netherite barrel and we're gonna upgrade these to diamond speed or diamond stack upgrades we're gonna need one more should have one more yeah we do okay let's upgrade this to a diamond upgrade as well can we upgrade to netherite from here oh no that's as far as we can go okay that's fine we have four stack upgrades now we can do this and then we can do an ultra exporter onto here and then we can do a logistical transporter from this and then we can only then we only have to set up one exporter and then we can just have the transport pipe go up hopefully that will work properly now we do raw block again and let's set this to do that then we'll set it to do gold and then iron and we'll put copper last because we have so much of it osmium again platinum silver lead nickel aluminum and zinc and then copper whoops then copper oh shit Oh, that's right. It goes in order. It doesn't uh, just do all of one at once. Let's just do that. Give me those. Woo, wee, look at all that. And it's in order from most to least prioritized. As long as we don't sort it. It can sort, it can store up to 4 million of each block. So doing blocks is going to be much better this way. Because uh, the blocks are a multiple of three, which means, and it only takes one block at a time uh, to cook. So we will never run into any kind of bottlenecks here um, in regards to not being able to store it, is what I mean. So that is good. Unfortunately, we're at the bottleneck here where we can only go so fast. But it is what it is. And maybe what we could also do is hook up the cables. No, that would not be bad. That would not be good. Um, never mind. But. We will set up another line of machines here. So we need a another condensator. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to chuck all of this away, which I never do. Chuck all of it away, and then we're going to just make a bunch of machines. Okay, so we'll take all the machines out that we do have, though. Uh, a chemical oxidizer here. So we'll put one right. Oh, it'll stop being silly. Put one there. So chemical oxidizer. And then we need the pressurized tubes. We're gonna need a bunch of these tubes, man. So we might wanna make more of these as well while we're at it. Okay, we have a stack of those. Let's make a stack of these, okay. And we're gonna need logisticals. Uh-oh, whoops. We're running out of stuff. Means the system isn't crafting them properly, which is unfortunate, but that's all right. We have our pipes. We have some pipes. We have that one done. Now we need a chemical infuser facing like so and then we're gonna need a uh, another chemical infuser placed like that then we need an electrolytic separator right yep right here how's that one placed placed like this place that one like that and then we need a condensator which i don't have i really need to set up energy tablets to be crafted oh boy all right rotary condensator placed uh you have why do you have hydrogen chloride in you because this one has hydrogen chloride. Stop that. Oh, man. You goober. Ugh, we need our dropper. Man, shoot. Come on, baby. Get out of there. And you as well. Get out. Go away. Eh, go away. Which side is that one on? 
left of like that all right that means we need to do a mechanical pipe here up to this there we go as well as that one oh you're full of freaking chemicals too seeing it it out to, to be expected i literally broke the other system okay uh we need to think about this chemical infuser takes oxygen and oxygen will be which output i'll put two so you need to do output two on the right that's good you will take input what are you huh oh none rip the input that all this one's used for right yeah and then we dump the hydrogen okay dump excess yep that's good let's go into here take this stuff out and we'll go here and take this out and all right let's turn off turn off gas ejection real quick and because we need to make sure that this goes to input one so gas input one and then we're gonna take yeah input one input two then we're gonna output to that one which needs the water vapor and this is going to output and you need water vapor on two. So we go to gas, we take input two, you silly goober. All right, then you're gonna output. Yep, there you go, you're taking that in. Okay, you're auto eject, auto eject. It's taking oxygen. Now we need to hook up the pressurized tube like so. And now we'll have sulfur trioxide and this is gonna make sulfuric acid. Now we need a dissolution chamber. All right, now we need to throw in a chemical dissolution chamber. Bam. Then chemical washer. Bam. Is that correct? Yeah, we can do it like that. We need a crystallizer. Bam. Now we should have, yep, we have the injecting factory. Okay, all right. There you are. You just you had to keep getting in my face. Bam. Oh, you're still doing stuff, you silly goober. Get out of there. Okay, we'll just check this in now. Now we need the purifying. Bam. We'll just take all this out too. Boop, boop, boop. Now we have the crushing. Bam. Take all this out. Now we need a enriching factory, which we have one of. And then a smelter, which we don't have one of. So like this boop now we need some cables so logistical transporter on this to do that um what else pressurized tube pressurized tube maybe we can get away with just doing that and it should be enough hold on this thing has no upgrades on it what in the world how do you have no upgrades what what this is slowing us down Chemical crystallizers suck. We probably just want to have multiple then, huh? Yeah, because it doesn't have anything else coming into it besides the slurry. So crystallizers, we just need more. We'll just boom, 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 I guess. And we'll tell this to take input on the front. Was that one, two, three, four? Oh no, this is gonna suck. Five. We probably need to do nine of them for the crystallizers. We're gonna see how this works. <laughs> I wanna see, I wanna see. Uh, universal evils. <laughs> yes, this is definitely what we're gonna do. We're definitely gonna do this. This sounds so good. <laughs> we need more speed upgrades. Come here. We need more of these and more of these. Bam, 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 bam. Whoops. Are you good with both? You should have both, right? Energy. Nope. I messed up. Dang it. Bam. Bam. Are you good? Yeah, you have speed and energy. So I did that one right. I just messed up these. Are you good? Speed and energy. And then you should have... Okay, you have it. And then you have it. You don't. And you don't. Okay. Give me those. Huh? Where are my energy upgrades at? Oh, there they are. Now they're going. Okay. Boop. 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 And you're, you have them, right? Yeah. Okay, now we can do the pressurized tube. <laughs> This is the way, if y'all didn't know, this is the way. And then we output the chunks. Oh, fuck. Whoops. I changed the color. Boom, boom, boom. Is that too many? <laughs> Do we have too many now? Okay, we have too many. Okay, okay. All right, all right. I need to see how many like perfectly fits. So let's break that one. We'll go down to five. Okay, five is a little too slow. So what about six? Six is also a little too slow. But now this thing is at least running constantly. So six is a little too slow. 
let's try seven and seven is also a little too slow but how are these machines coming now ho oh, a hundred k holy shit <laughs> um <laughs> okay this is gated right now how much do we need <laughs> okay believe it at 500k that was so much power this thing's using 204k oh it's filling up the cable that's why oh man well we've made progress is this still ahead okay it's still ahead so maybe it's eight maybe we need eight of them Ooh, whoops move that forward eight is eight a good amount man screw it maybe we just do nine let's just do nine we'll just have nine of them and if it gets overflowed oh well i just want it to be full all right how's our uranium now baby so it's taking nine uh i don't know how much it's turning it into um but we should be good to go here we should be completely done with this yeah we're done okay so three more machines i don't know how much more this does um but we made it and i i hope that it's better <laughs> and having all these crystallizers i think this is so worth it because it keeps all of these going at full speed how are we doing back here are we still po net positive on the chemicals nope are you fully upgraded no you're not so let's upgrade these then Ooh, whoops and now we need to upgrade this and then we can just do that there if you're always running that's quite expensive huh are we net positive now what's Oh, we're gated. We're gated with the uh, exporter here. Exporter! We need the mega. Well, well, well. We found another bottleneck. Oh, that's an importer. Whoops. So we'll make those. Now we're going to need two, one, two, three, four. Then we need to do this. Boom. And then we can make this one here. The mega exporter. Bam, bam, bam. And then it needs to go into here, right? Yeah. There this and now we need our brine bucket good thing i've always kept this on me bam go and you're gonna need speed upgrades too <laughs> you can't even keep up with that um well i know what that means we need a tank and we will upgrade this tank all the way up yeah all right that means we'll take this and we'll do this now that means we need uh yeah this here and we need this we'll top this off here and we will chuck the brine in and then we will chuck the speeds in here and hopefully this can now keep up so then hopefully we'll be net positive holy yeah we're net positive all right um this is 190,000. yeah we need to lower these bad boys these guys are sucking up all our power okay um we should still be net positive here yep we are but man we're using a ton of power yeah, this this line up here is just 90k, but and we're only using one machine at the moment. Goodness, how much is this uh, using right here? <laughs> we're almost using our entire our entire power network. And these are 1.6k, but look at that. Look at it going. It's doing the thing, and this is what I wanted. And then we're gonna put another layer on this, and I don't know if we'll be able to handle the power output actually. Um, once we cook, hook all this up, we have energies and speeds and gas we need 11 more speeds to match that how much we have okay um how much do we have are we fully upgraded down here yeah we are fully upgraded uh i think we can take one out of here which means we can take one out of here and then one out of here as well and also one out of there so those four machines can go down so we'll keep this one upgraded you need to be as upgraded as possible mr dissolution chamber this is still keeping up which is good um what if we remove this down is this still keeping up oh yeah we're chilling okay so we're losing we're using less power now which is good uh because we were gonna max out completely so with this whole system running on this little mini network our whole network is using a ton but this specific one is outputting we could call that 250k i think calling it 250k is a good good estimate which means down here i think we're at our maximum right now yeah we're at our maximum burn rate and we're producing 514k so this can handle the amount of pressure that we're putting on it i think 
uh can it well what's our whole network taking the whole output network is taking 300k so if we add that other system on we will be a little over but we can check our input we need to check our input network we're this means that we're inputting a consistent 536 thousand so we are making 536k that means that this isn't running oh no it's it is running it's just not running all the time so that means that i need to put a point on that so it is always running yeah and that's what this means so i need to take this off and we need to put a point on here so it is always giving us power to our network or sorry we need to put a plug on here or no i was am i correct uh nope that's removing energy so we need to add energy yeah so we need to do a plug we need to put this on the input network and this can extract two million so we'll set this to two million so we can extract two million so it's gonna run and it's going to pull power actually what we'll do instead is we'll extract 200k so it can fill up because i think it produces more the more full this is so we will We'll, we'll pull that much out. I think we're going to start running out of packed ice uh, more than anything here. But we have a bunch of urine tonight. If I'm yeah, we have 18.2 K urine tonight. So yeah, this will be this will be a nice addition to our network. So now we're adding 736,000 power to our network, um, which means that we need to come over here. And how much is this adding? So we can do 25,000. We'll set the transfer limit to 25,000. So this I think this is net positive now, right? We're net positive here. And this is also adding 22K. So this system right here is 22K and these are producing literally 190 each. So overall, if we check the network stats, we are contributing 736,000 FE to our network. So that is how much we can do with this system. So we are good to go here, which is very nice to see. Okay, that needed gas. So we'll do speed, boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 and boop, boop. Okay, these are fully upgraded. Now we need to come in here and take one out and come in here and take one out. Uh, we can leave that. Oh, actually, no, we need to take one out of here. It's all these four. So we take one out of each of these. All right, perfect. Now this one is energy speed. And then we need to take one out of here. So we can take one out of there. How are you? You're maxed. Are you maxed? Yep, you're maxed. And this is a pressurized tube. So now we can start setting up tier two here and we will hook up the logistics, the logistical transporter here. And we'll do that. So hopefully if we tell it to take input, it'll start going into here. Okay, so this one's taking copper, but I would like it to take gold. I'm gonna toss gold into there instead. Uh, we wanna we wanna process the gold first. Okay, so this is gonna process gold. This is all hooked up, right? You're producing, you just need to take the gas input, which means this needs to have auto eject on and output into there. There we go. So now this is producing that. This is also a pressurized tube and we will pull this all the way out to here as well, just like the other system. And we'll get this system going also just like this one. Eventually, I'd like to have two rows going here of the crystallizer. Okay, and you need water. We should be able to take from the sink and it should be fine. We should be able to output enough water. This is gonna fill up this. All right, let's make, let's upgrade these first. You should be all the way upgraded. Yeah, let's upgrade these machines first uh grab the machines here we have that one we have this one need some more of those and now we need five of these i think we'll just make five i think some of the machines are already upgraded but we'll go ahead and make them so you're already upgraded you are gonna need this 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 then you need just this one. Oh no you're green so that oh yeah all the way and then you need red boop boop all right and you are already processing but you are not upgraded. So let's do this. Boom, boom. And everybody say, way ho. Auto eject, auto sort, auto sort, sort on and on. Do auto eject on. We'll tell this to output out of the back. It already will. And we're gonna tell this auto eject on, auto eject is on, auto eject is on, and auto eject is on. So now just you, you should be outputting to this, right? Yeah, you have items on output. Um, 
Oh, you are weird because I think I already set up your config. So input and you as well. Input, outputs, you as well. Input, output, and then input, output. Okay. Energy, speed, and then speed, energy. We need more energy upgrades. Damn it. Ugh, so many. All right. <clears throat> we have, we need four of these. Then we're also going to just craft 64 more and then we'll craft 64 more speeds as well. Okay. Wow, man. What a process this is. But we have two lines going now, which is very nice. We have gold coming out. It's very slow though, because we're going to, and we're going to do the same thing. This actually wasn't a part of my idea, doing these chemical crystallizers like this, but I think it's a good idea. I think it is a very, very good idea. Uh, it makes it so we can output everything. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we can just place these down. Oh man, they don't go directly into my hot bar. That's unfortunate. All right, these are going now. Now we just need to tell them to output. Bam, 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 bam. All right, all these should output. They're slurry. Now we need upgrades again. This does, this definitely does, is not the prettiest thing. I will be the first one to admit it, but you know what? It's effective. And that's what ultimately matters to me. So this one's already upgraded. So boom, boom, we do two of, for each of these. And then we will check the power network after. There we go. Those are all upgraded now. So now we should be shoving gold into here. Very nice. Okay, so now we can run two ores fully at once. Beautiful, man. Oh, look at that. So the reason I made so many chemical crystallizers is because they only do one gold or one slurry nugget at once or at one time. So that means that the injection factory or injecting factory would only take in one crystal. So to fix that, you make nine crystallizers and then nine crystallizers are going at once and then it'll fill the injecting factory up with all nine of its slots and then it can keep up completely with the system. Now, these systems here are going a bit faster than I need. They are building up extra, so we could ultimately lower these. I think maybe we could lower this down and it should keep up, we'll see. Okay, so it can't keep up. So unfortunately, we are going to have to burn some extra power to keep up completely with with having nine of these. But I think that's okay because of how much power we're producing. And look at this. It's using 300-ish thousand. Um, and, but for, we also need to add this to the system here. So it's going to be using even more um, after we throw this on. So let's go ahead and grab an exporter so we can have this fully set up. And then we can calculate the power truthfully, put a stack upgrade in here and drop this on. And these should keep up now. Okay, so now let's see, because all these machines are gonna start running again, or they're gonna be running without without issue. So this one's full. These guys are getting filled up. We can probably reduce these machines down, these four. We could probably reduce these down to six uh, for the sulfuric acid because we have the gas upgrades on here to save even more power. But we can call this a consistent like yeah, 400,000. So we're around 405,000 ish. I'd probably call it safely call it 410,000 at our max pull. Oh, 420 right there. It was 418. So this is around each line of machines that we have with our upgrades is around 210, just call it 220,000 um, FE. So this whole system right now is 440,000 FE per tick to get two rows of raw blocks cooked up into the slurry and then run through this whole system so i think that's all i'm gonna do for today this is insane we need to do like probably one more row on here uh and then we can just leave it be but i will go ahead and i'll go over the, the system in its entirety on how i have it set up because it is a bit compact and there's cables everywhere and it might be difficult to understand what's going on so let's go ahead and do a general overview so we needed a chemical dissolution chamber in order to turn blocks into 
dirty block like dirty or slurry in order to do this we needed sulfuric acid so what we did was we took the same setup that we have down below over there with the chemical infuser taking in sulfur trioxide and water vapor to make sulfuric acid and to get that we needed a rotary condensator or condensator here to take in water and to turn it into water vapor then we also needed the sulfur trioxide so what did we need to do we needed to take oxygen and sulfur dioxide to make sulfur trioxide to get that we made a electrolytic separator to take in water we dump excess hydrogen so we're always producing oxygen and we pump that oxygen into the chemical infuser because that's one of the ingredients it needs to make sulfur trioxide then we have our system exporting sulfur dust into a chemical oxidizer to produce sulfur dioxide and we have this happening on two separate layers just because we want to be able to do two types of raw ore at once at some point it might do uh the same ore in both but that's okay that just means that we're good to go here and that we don't have any excess ore uh in the box eventually we'll get there you see it's slowly going down on both fronts um but we're just gonna have to we're just gonna have to wait for this to to catch up so we made the sulfuric acid now what we what we are doing is we stored the raw ore into a compacting drawer here so the compacting drawer allows my system to see that it has it allows any raw ore to show up as raw ore blocks and what that allows us to do is then no matter no matter if we store the raw ore or not those compacting drawers will show up as both of those types of ore and then what we can do is set up an exporter here to export all of the types of blocks that we want to send into the system and this eliminates us having to do any logic on making sure we send any three blocks i wish i knew this before and i didn't set have to set up those points but it's okay i learned from it and now we're here so we're setting up all of our raw or blocks to get outputted into this dissolution chamber and we have it piping out from our system here into this box here and then this box is piping them into these chemical dissolution chambers those then make the slurry from that ore then we need to pipe that into a chemical washer the chemical washer takes the slurry plus water so we have an infinite water source here piped into our chemical washers washes the slurry and turns it into clean slurry then we have that clean slurry getting pumped into a chemical crystallizer chemical crystallizer doesn't need anything it just needs power and then it will turn the gold or clean slurry into crystals of that type of block and then we built nine of these in order to keep up with the injecting factory here and all of the other machines here because they have nine slots so we want to be able to fill all of these nine slots and since these only do one at a time we needed nine of them in order to keep up with this entire system so we are not just sitting here doing one at a time so then we just go back to the system that we did over there the old mechanism system we pump the crystals into the injecting factory here turns them into shards and we pump them into the purifying factory and it turns them into clumps and to go back to this one the injecting factory like before over there it needs hydrogen chloride so what we did was we set up an electrolytic separator taking in brine from our beautiful brine factory thing there and we set that up with an exporter to export the fluid from our system because we are storing brine then we get sodium and chlorine we dump out the sodium and we pipe the chlorine into the chemical fuser infuser here in order to make hydrogen chloride we also need hydrogen so we hooked up a infinite water source to another electric electrolytic separator then we have this one set to dump excess on both and i'll get to why we did that in a little bit but then we pipe the hydrogen into the chemical infuser and then we pump the hydrogen chloride into our injecting factory and you want to make sure you put gas upgrades on this so it is much more efficient with using gas or you're going to be running into a lot of problems with power consumption then you're going to take like i mentioned you're going to get the shards and then you're going to pipe them into your purifying factory the purifying factory needs oxygen and this is why i have this to dump excess on both of these so it's always consistently producing oxygen as well as 
producing uh, hydrogen. But it looks like we're going to run out of oxygen, unfortunately. So we're gonna probably add another electrolytic separator and throw it onto here. It looks like we are also gonna run out of hydrogen chlor chloride. So we might, oh, actually we removed upgrades from these. So what we can do instead is just throw speeds back onto these. And these should hopefully keep up now that we have the speed upgrades. Yeah, there we go. So we were running out there because these i guess these two lines need more chemicals than 128 times produces which is unfortunate but you know it is it is what it is i'm just glad that this is keeping up with our brine usage um and that these pipes are producing water fast enough so these are going to use a consistent 38,000. if you have dumping excess on and your system is burning it as fast as possible this is holding 192 this is using 192,000 fe so we need to do we're going to check the energy again to see what it's like with having that system maxed out so we talked about the purifying factory it uses oxygen also put gas upgrades in here so it's more efficient then that turns the shards the purifying factory then turns shards into clumps then the crusher turns the clumps into dirty dust then the enriching factory turns that dirty dust into regular dust that you're familiar with and then we get dust into ingots in the in in the smelting factory now the smelting factory is being has a pipe on the back with a lo logistical transporter it is piping it into a barrel and then we have an elite importer importing that into our storage network oh man that was a lot of talking oh but i am really glad to have this done oh it looks so interesting I'm not going to say nice. It looks interesting, but I think this compact setup is just fine. I'm going to reorganize that area over there as well, uh, because we honestly, I want to just clean that up because this is this is massive. This is fat. OK, before before we head out, let's check our power consumption now, because now we are at a point where the two lines are probably as maxed out as they can get. So let's check how much we're using. Let's go to our network stat. It looks like we're using a consistent I would call that, I'm just gonna call that like 600K. 580, you could call it to be, uh, but I'm gonna be conservative and I'm gonna say it's it's around 300K per line just so you can have a buffer. So expect, if you were to build this system out, one row, one row alone expected to be around 280 to 300,000 FE per tick. Uh, we have two rows, so I'm gonna call that around 600K FE per tick. And the only reason we're able to afford that is because we have our reactor here producing 230,000 FE. We have this producing, what is this, 20? Oh, it's not, I'm putting anything, but it, it should be running. I don't know why it isn't. Oh, is it just because it's, ah, oh, it's out of power because of this plug here, not outputting any power. Oh, I broke a cable right there. Whoops, that's not good. So I need to plug this back in so we can produce more power. Good thing I caught that. Uh, let me down there. Come on, there we go. So this should, oh, this is input though. Ah, this isn't gonna output to that network down here. So what we need to do then is we need to, oh, you punks, damn it. Well, I'm gonna go to sleep then, I guess. But I think I messed up my melon farm just because I don't have a plug anymore. Oh my gosh, and it's the lunar event, so I can't even go to sleep. Well, shoot, uh, I guess I just have to kill these things. Is there another one? Yeah, go away, okay. Okay, I thought another one spawned. Anyway, we messed this up because we disconnected the reactor from all of this, so it doesn't have anywhere to put the power. So we don't need this flux plug anymore on here because we have it disconnected completely. What we do need though is we're gonna need a flux point. So we're gonna go ahead and break this and we're gonna output to the network. We'll do output and we should be able to change this. We'll just change this to 100K, should be good. Now it's gonna output and fill in all these cables and this should start running again and producing us some more power, okay? So it's gonna fill up with ethylene and then it'll continuously raise how much it's doing. So the more full that the gas burning generator is, the, the more energy density it has. So that means that it being more full means that it can output a higher amount of Fe. Uh, so this will eventually get back up to around 22,000, 23,000. So 230,000, 20,000, we'll call it that. So that's 250K and that's on top of our 514K that we have right here. Um, I will set this to dumping excess here. Uh, so the reason we're gonna set this to dumping excess is so it so it doesn't get stuck 
um if we max out our power i think this is a good safety feature to click on but yeah we're producing 514k here so we can see that we our network is around 728,000. so 720,000 uh fe per tick that we're storing so we're gonna max out eventually uh and you can also see the stat here because we have all of our power coming just from this induction matrix we're storing everything in here so it's really good we have this is really good for stats but since we separated the network into input and output i think it's very a very good idea to do that all right but yep that is that is the upgraded ore factory tier four right here we did it here live you guys got to see me mess with it and figure it out i think this is the most optimum setup at least for me i'm sure there's a better way to do some of this stuff but i think this is what gets it to run uh all of the time so i think it's a good idea but i'm gonna go ahead and stop there we've almost stopped like three times but we've had stuff to fix but thank you all so much for watching i hope you learned something and i will see you thank you all so much for watching i hope that you learned something with me going through this uh tier four or factory i definitely learned something especially about not needing to use raw a raw ore and you can just use raw ore blocks that was painful to figure out but it's okay it is completely fine but anyway thank you all i hope you're all doing well and i will see you in the next one goodbye